All right, now to the stories that are trending now. Zoom meetings are becoming the norm during the pandemic, even for our pets. Apparently, two adorable dogs were called in to get some big news from their boss. Right, so basically an update as to where we are. I can see you both look um, <laughs> worried, but the good news from head office is that neither <laughs> of you is going to be furloughed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they loved that good news. Mabel, you see there, the dog on the right, had a hard time staying focused after receiving that that news, Nicole. <laughs> no furry dogs being furloughed. Sounds like good news to me. Best and co-workers. One dog is learning how to sing while being cooped up in the house. So just take a moment to listen to this husky as the owner played the guitar. Lean on me. Oh. We are on a <laughs> Oh, it's so cute. Sing it, Husky. Don't those two make a good duet together? So cute. People always ask me why I don't sing on this show. That's why. Scott and Nicole would be singing and I would be doing that. <laughs> it's okay. A <laughs> farmer went to check up on his pigs and noticed something was a little strange. Take a look. That one here is fine. That one there is fine. This one here is turned <laughs> belly up. <laughs> So here's the problem. Apparently that pig had eaten some fermented corn. You oh. know what they do with fermented <gasps> corn? They make moonshine. And the, the pig just took a little tumble down the hill. They say oh. he they say he was a little sleepy. I think that's a euphemism. You can determine what it's a euphemism for. He was sleepy after eating the fermented corn. The video has one and a half million <laughs> views. I've tried that excuse. No one buys it. Oh, he's gonna have a headache in the morning. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm on a little bit of a delay at home, so my video will be running behind. So if you guys laugh, then I'll know my story is cute and funny. <laughs> All right. With so many people staying at home, a bunch of goats decided to take over a neighborhood in San Jose, California. Take a look. They're on the loose. The goats were brought in on Tuesday to eat dead grass on the hillside, but the animals <laughs> got through a fence and took off into the street. Eventually, neighbors led the goats back to where they were supposed to be. No one was hurt, but the goats did munch on some flowers. Well, Melissa, no you're joking you're around. That's the first scared. traffic jam we've had on this show in about six weeks. Alert. <laughs> Melissa, your story was bad, actually. It was really Stop bad. Stop kidding. Stop kidding. We'll be back. <laughs> oh, good one, Nicole. <laughs>